welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus chapter 21, verses today, 26, 27. Here they are. If a man strikes the eye of his male or female slave and destroys it, he shall let him go free on account of his eye. And if he knocks out a tooth of his male or female slave, he shall let him go free on account of his tooth. Okay, so let's. We're, this goes with what the yesterday's devotional. If you missed it, go back and watch it. We're talking about the lex talionis, the law of the tooth. And people sometimes refer to this as this super legalistic law that's so ancient. You know, you have, if we have an eye for an eye, then we're going to be a nation of blind men. People say things like that. And, you know, fine, you know, the, uh, for the uninformed person, I can get that. But, but we're looking right here at the actual case where it is. And what do we find yesterday and today? Well, let's look at the application of it today. So if you strike the eye, uh, if somebody gets, they hit them in the eye and they lose their eye. Your servant, your slave loses his eye. You happen to have a slave. They, he loses his eye. He's working for you for a period of, let's say he has five years left out of his total uh, six-year contract thing, uh, guess what? You have lost his labor. He goes and he's a free person now leaving at that time. Uh, so there, you're losing five years of the benefit of that labor. Uh, that's a proportionate thing. And then we have verse 27, if he knocks out a tooth. Look, even a tooth. If you knock out the tooth of your slave, he's a free person after that. God has got this kind of rigged, he's got it set up, rigged maybe isn't the way we want to say it, but God's got it set up so that uh, he is helping people move to the in the direction of liberty. It's always helping people move in the direction of freedom. And so here, there's a particular, this is not an eye, it doesn't say you take out his tooth, your tooth goes. It said that before, but really that was an idiom. But we see here is that you're going to lose the equivalent. So guess what? Here's an incentive built into the law. Remember, incentives are pretty important here. Incentive, don't, don't, be, don't be mistreating your servants because it's going to cost you. You just don't want to do that. You don't want to maim him, even if he loses a tooth, even if you, if you damage his toe, if you crush his toe, uh, you'll have to pay a price for that, see? So it's all worked out here careful, and it all comes back to what Jesus says later in the New Testament, what? Treat other people like you'd like yourself to be treated. Wouldn't it be better, you know, those who out there who are might be atheistic and you don't, uh, you just think the Christian thing is just a bunch of uh, nonsense, we don't want that. Well, let me tell you what, if you want to be treated, others to treat you as you want to be treated, you should hope that you have a Christian neighbor on, on every side where you're living, uh, because that's better than having a guy on either side that has no values, there's really no right or wrong to him, and he sees something of yours he wants, he doesn't have the, the barriers, the boundaries to keep him from taking it necessarily. Maybe he would not do it, but he doesn't have the value system behind it that, that the Bible gives us, which helps us to uh, have empathy with others because we want to be treated right ourselves. So, lex talionis, the law of the tooth, uh, not a crazy, super literalistic thing that makes everybody blind, actually incentives from the God of heaven to treat, will treat each other in a human way, in, an, in a very human way, in a divine way. We are made in God's image. God's laws promote treating others as though they are made in his image. So not a bad thing, not a very bad thing, but a very good thing. I will stay with eye for an eye all day long, and it's, it's good.